Good morning to you. I'm Shayla Reeves. This is CBSN Minnesota's morning update. Grab that coffee and let's get you up to speed on all of your news and weather. It's still chilly outside, but not quite as chilly as what we felt yesterday. We'll inch our way up to 18 degrees by noon, but it'll still be mostly cloudy out there. By 4 p.m., we'll be looking at a brief warm up to 22 degrees before we dip back down to 19 with a chilly and quiet evening around 8 o'clock. Now let's talk about this. Another local New Year's Eve event canceled because of COVID-19. Can Can Wonderland says it won't be holding its New Year's bash. They are now closed through the first week of January to do some deep cleaning. Earlier this week, several other venues and events canceled or scaled back their New Year's plans. So we want to hear from you. What are you going to be doing for New Year's Eve? Are you going to be changing your plans this year or sticking with them? Those watching on Facebook, leave a comment here and we'll read through a few of those in just a moment. Minnesotans without a home are doing what they can to stay warm during this bitter cold. Hennepin County tells us it moved for more than 400 people into permanent housing before the cold hit this year. Still, many make the tough decision to stay outside. Vivo outreach workers normally go to encampments around Minneapolis every day with supplies. They also offer to call and book shelter space for people. Wednesday, they were taking out extra supplies to keep people warm. Things like hand warmers and foil blankets to insulate late tents. They tell us everyone they spoke with told them they plan to stay put through the cold. Blankets can only do so much when it's a negative six. So I know folks are getting creative and using um, propane generators, hand sanitizer to stay warm, which those aren't necessarily the safest options, but it's I mean, what do you choose? It's freezing cold or you have to heat yourself somehow. Avivo says donations of hand warmers and big winter jackets are welcomed. In Hennepin County, shelter is guaranteed for families with children. We have phone numbers for adult and family shelters on our website at WCCO.com. Bitter cold temperatures can lead to car troubles. Your battery and tire pressure are usually the first thing to go during an extreme freeze. You can check your oil levels and fix your tire pressure on your own. But if you need an expert, keep in mind that several Minnesota auto shops are overwhelmed right now with customers. They're asking you to be patient as they deal with supply chain issues, staffing shortages and high demand. Also, always have a roadside emergency kit in your vehicle this time of year with the jumper cables, blankets and water. If you're one of the thousands of fans heading to Target Field on Saturday, plan ahead for the bitter cold. Fans are encouraged to bring blankets, hand warmers, and whatever else they need to stay warm. Target Field will have heating areas and some extra medical personnel will be on hand to help keep people safe. Going outside, braving the elements, playing hockey on, on lakes, and, and, and what, you know, for most of our players, this is how they started. So, you know, having the cold weather and, and the energy that it, it presents, you know, we know that for our players at the NHL, this is the this is the game they wait for in the regular season. We spoke to the Wilds team doctor who said frostbite is the biggest concern for both players and fans. Exposed areas of the skin that are painful or become tingly are some of the signs to look out for. As the temperature drops, XL Energy says a phone scam is heating up. Callers are telling customers to pay up now or their power will be cut off. Usually they want you to buy a prepaid debit or credit card for payment. Well, XL says it will never ask you to do that and its first notice about overdue bills will come through the mail. The Frigid Air is closing a holiday attraction one day early. The Glow Festival on the state fairgrounds announced it will now close January 1st instead of the 2nd. They have several spots to warm up during the final days. This morning, the holiday travel nightmare continues across the country. It's been a full week now of issues. Airline Tracker Flight Aware shows at least 900 flights canceled again today. That's after an average uh, over 1,000 flights canceled every day since Christmas Eve. Airline crews and staff are calling out sick with COVID, and that's devastated flight schedules. The CDC's decision this week to cut isolation and quarantine times in half will allow the airlines to bring back staff more quickly. Lotto Fever will be going strong into the new year. There was no winner in last night's Powerball drawing, so the jackpot is growing. An estimated $483 million will be up for grabs on Saturday, New Year's Day. The Mega Millions is also getting up there with tomorrow's drawing worth $221 million. Healthcare workers walking into work on Christmas morning were surprised by a group that held signs and cheered. 
they had the Christmas music in the background and they came up and they were clapping. And I mean, I was basically in tears. The group was in the walkway at M Health Fairview Southdale Hospital in Edina. The nurses say the act of kindness made them feel seen and appreciated in a year where many have felt tried and defeated. Now they'd like to find the group to say thank you. And to know that somebody else took the time to give back to us mm -hmm. was just amazing. Everybody just was so appreciative of what had happened. I wanted them to know truly how much of a difference they made. The nurses hope the group sees this story to know how grateful they are. Back to today's talker. Let's see what you're saying online. We wanted to know about your New Year's Eve plans. Were you making any changes? Were you sticking to your routine? Diana says we will have a quiet evening, a good meal and a movie here at home, celebrating with the pets and keeping it quiet. Thank you so much, Diana. Cindy says stay home, watch the movie channel and keep warm. Maybe order some pizza and have a one person party. Nothing wrong with that, Cindy. Crystal says still attending the Thomas Rhett concert and the Winter Classic. And Jackie says staying home and painting my dining room with young kids. We haven't gone out for New Year's in forever. We just celebrate in the living room with sparkling cider. Busy weekend on tap there with all that painting. And Jason says I'm likely staying home watching the ball drop on television. Thank you all so much for weighing in online. Of course, that's your morning update from CBSN Minnesota, your only local streaming news source. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time. See you then.